Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Bluehost versus Hostinger versus GoDaddy. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now this three platform called Bluehost, Hostinger, and GoDaddy are platforms that will allow you to host your website and give you domains that you could use for your website creation. Now the popular platforms that actually uses these platforms are called or are known as WordPress. As you can see here on Bluehost, we have WordPress over here as one of its main users. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to be exploring the different benefits and the different things that you will be able to get on each website. So you guys could understand or you guys could know which platform you should be uh, using for hosting your websites. So we will be beginning with Bluehost. Now Bluehost uh, is mainly for WordPress. It is recommended by WordPress as you can see here wordpress.org and Bluehost makes WordPress easy. The different things that you could do with Bluehost is that uh, you could have online stores, WordPress hosting, and design service. Now uh, since our platforms are mainly for hosting, we will only be focusing on hosting and since over here as you can see we have wordpress you will be able to host websites and online store you will be able to uh, check uh wordpress hosting you can have woocommerce as, as well uh, we can also check the different uh hosting information that we could check over here that we will be able to get as you can see here you will be able to get some shared hosting building your own website just got easier with hosting shared hosting or bluehost shared hosting you will be able to get all features, tools, and guidance you need to build and launch a truly impressive WordPress website. So uh, it will be collaborating with WordPress uh, since it is a platform recommended by WordPress. So they have a partnership. So most of their things will be for WordPress. So uh, the things that you would need to pay are we have basic choice plan, online store, and pro. For the basic, it will cost us almost $3 per month for the Choice Plus, uh, six dollars per month almost. Online store, ten dollars per month, and a pro you have fourteen dollars per month to read here. The different benefits that you will get will depend on the type of plan, of course. As you can see, for the basic, you will only be able to get, or you will be able to create a fully functional one website, which will have ten gigabyte of SSD storage and chat support. The features available is, as you can see, free CDN, one website. Free domain for the first year, a professional email, and you will be able to manage your own WordPress and free SSL for the first year. For the Choice Plus, you will be able to get three websites instead of one. You will have 40 gigabyte of storage and uh, you will be able to get phone support as well. The different features available will be the same or even more. As you can see, free CDN will be the same. Uh, the three website is updated the 40 gigabyte is updated you will be able to get a uh, daily website backup free for the first year which is very important you don't want your data from your website to be missing or disappear and for the online store of course there will be more uh, features over here and for the pro almost all features available you can see here now if you're someone who's building a website in wordpress uh you could use bluehost because it is built to work with Bluehost so you won't have any issues with how it would work. Now the next one that we will be talking about is Hostinger. Now I have personally used Hostinger before. I used it for my other website platforms out there that I have used before. Uh, I used it on WordPress as well. As you can see it is also available over here and right now for the uh, Hostinger there will be uh, promo right now as you can see up to 70% off hosting there will be a free domain free website migration and a 24-7 customer support right now there is a $2 promo as you can see here $2 per month promo plus 3 months free which is a really great deal and you have a 30 day money back guarantee it's going to be available for a limited amount of time and you guys should definitely check it out and it has a good rating from Trustpilot, Google, Host Advice, and WP Beginner. It has really good reviews, so it's a very good platform as well. The different plans are 
premium which is this one over here premium will allow you to have 100 website which is a lot compared to a uh, bluehost or the other platform that we checked earlier you will be able to have 100 gigabyte ssd storage you have standard performance weekly backup unlimited ssl unlimited bandwidth free email and free domain as well uh, you won't have free cdn and a dedicated ip address for a managed wordpress you will you won't have the uh, woocommerce and the wordpress leading tool uh, object cache but the other features you will be able to have it and the no code website builder you will be able to have all of these features as well for the other plan or the most popular plan which is business you will be able to get it for three dollars a month and this time you will have like increased performance you will be able to have a basic uh, WooCommerce platform and a lot more of course you won't be able to have some features because uh, all features will be available for the cloud startup over here on the next plan which is like ten dollars per month or like eleven dollars per month as you can see here now personally I prefer hosting here because of all the things uh, the uh, the things that you will be able to get the features that you will be able to get is a lot compared to the other platform the Bluehost as you can see the other one only uh, offers one website or three websites but this one will allow you to create at least a hundred websites which is really great now moving on to GoDaddy GoDaddy will allow us to do some website and hosting as well uh, similarly with WordPress hosting and the, let's see all the options and the pricing as well let's check it out as you can see similarly with the pricing you have two dollars and then this one it's at least four dollars i think for the website builder but for the web hosting uh, let's explore web hosting uh for the managed wordpress uh, you will need to pay at least three dollars as you can see here for the enhanced woocommerce or the enhanced e-commerce hosting it will cost you like around fifty dollars or twenty dollars i mean as you can see here there's a lot of features available over here so you guys could check it out as well let's explore the uh, web hosting over here to see what we can do over here as you can see 99 uptime guarantee optimized server and free ssl certificate for all your site now this one uh, for the web hosting starter you will only be able to get one website and one database and the gigabyte of storage for the web hosting economy you only have one uh, website as well but you will have like a free domain free professional email and free ssl certificate for the best value the web hosting deluxe uh, you will have 10 websites 25 database and 50 gigabyte of storage and many more as you can see these are the different plans available for us to check out and that's basically it guys so uh based on the performance i think hostinger will offer you the most features and the most worthwhile for your money so if you guys uh, plan to use one of this i would suggest hostinger for you guys so if you enjoyed this video guys, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.